Hey guys, Vizella Productions here. So, I'm sure a lot of you have seen my video I uploaded a week ago talking about Ark Survival Evolved, and if you haven't seen it, I don't recommend that you check it out because I thought that my points were accurate, and my points were that, oh, the company behind Ark is Wildcard, and they are like, oh, they're the Konami of, you know, PC gaming. And when I thought of that, um, when I thought about that more and I got feedback from that video, I realized that Wildcard isn't as evil as I think I tried to portray them as. Because I thought Wildcard, and I'm not throwing flack at um, Clean Prince Gaming who inspired me to make that video. But I'm just saying that I feel like I was a bit too harsh on Wildcard. I, do, I still hold by all almost all the things I said about how I feel like adding DLC to an early access game is a horrible idea, and since all the, all the bugs and they didn't prioritize those to get fixed, and they focus on new content, I think that was just... I don't know what they were thinking with that, but overall, I don't think Wildcard is as evil as I tried to portray them as. But as I thought about it more, and I got more and more feedback, what I realized was that I kind of actually see why Wildcard is focusing more on new features and more additions to Ark Survival Evolved than fixing the bugs. And something that inspired me to think about that is that it was recently announced, in fact just today, that Ark is coming to the Nintendo Switch. So soon you'll be able to play Ark on the go, it's, and it'll be like the full version of Ark, and you'll be able to play it on your Switch and then put it in the dock and play it on a TV. It sounds like a great idea, right? But before I get into my thoughts on this, I want to talk about everything that we know about the Switch version. So, Wildcard didn't reveal a lot. All they told us was that it's confirmed that Ark Survival Evolved is definitely coming to the Switch, and it's coming this year sometime in fall, or around that type of season. So, that's all we really know. We know that Ark Survival Evolved is indeed coming to the Switch, and we should expect it sometime around October, September, maybe even later in, like, um, November. But sometime in the fall is when we're going to receive Ark Survival Evolved. If I were to take a wild guess, a eh, get it, <laughs> for when Ark will come to the Nintendo Switch, I would say sometime around October. On top of that, Wildcard also announced a new free-to-play mobile version of Ark is also coming along with the Nintendo Switch version. So, that's interesting to hear. I'm probably not going to download that because I don't know how well Ark is going to do on a phone. But hey, it's free, so I might give it a shot, but I don't think I will. And the mobile version of Ark is being handled by Wardrum Studios, so a different team is working on this new version. But that's basically all we know about these two new versions and focusing more on the Switch version. All we know is that it's coming out in the fall and it's definitely happening. So I'm now going to get into my opinions on this. And if you have your own opinions, I would love to hear them in the comments. But overall, especially since I made my last ARC video last week, what I, when I first saw this, my main reaction at first was, huh, wow, Wildcard is once again stuffing their face with more features for ARC. But then I thought about it more. And then I realized something. Okay, so, yes, Ark, I feel like adding DLC to a game that's in early access was a bad move. And the fact that Ark didn't have its bugs ironed out at, as fast as it should be when Wildcard was focusing on, like, new features and all that, I sort of, I blamed them for that, but then I thought about things. And what I realized is that every single company does things differently. And... Wildcard is no exception, and what I realized when I thought about that more was that I, I see what Wildcard was trying to do with Ark. They were trying to make the game its full proper, like a full proper game on day one release. What I mean by that is like, while they were making an early access game, what I think they were trying to do, this is my only defense I can think of for them, is that they were working... They kept working on Ark Survival Evolved, and what that co and they wanted to make sure that the game was spotless. They wanted to make sure it had all the features, and then after that, they would iron out the bugs. So it wouldn't be like, okay, we add new feature, uh, iron out the bugs, and add new feature, iron out the bugs. They wanted it to be like, add a whole bunch of new features, and then right before we release it, iron out the entire thing. That's what I think they were trying to do. They might have not been doing that, and they might have just been so disorganized, but... I think that is what they were trying to do. 
Now, what I see of that is that I think what Ark is trying to be is a game that everyone can enjoy. I think that's the main point behind it. It's a game that you can pick up and play, and that's the main intent, um, like um, intention of it. It's like Minecraft mixed with Skyrim or in like a Far Cry Primal kind of state. It's really weird to describe it because Ark is such a different game to c compared to other games. But, I mean, that makes sense. Every company did that. Like, especially after the Wii U, it's obvious that companies would be hesitant to put games on the Switch. But, as time went on, Wildcard noticed, okay, the Switch is doing much better than we ever thought it would be. In fact, there's another story that I haven't talked about yet, where apparently the Switch is the fastest, like, it's the fastest console to get the biggest install base in its time. So, like, in how long the Switch has been out, it has the biggest install base of any other console, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So, obviously, Wildcard wants to get Ark on that system. So, that's why I think Ark wasn't on the Switch, like, day one. They weren't working on it as soon as the Switch was announced. I think they were waiting on it. Now, I have not played Ark. I have made this clear in my last Ark video, and the main reason why I've never played it is because I kept hearing so much negativity from the community about it that I never really felt like I should get into it. Now, I didn't know too much about Ark before the um, Clean Prince Gaming video. All I knew was that it's a game that has a lot of bugs, but I had no idea of just how, I wouldn't say bad, because I wouldn't say Ark is a bad game. I would just, I had no idea how, what the game was at its state until I actually saw CPG's video on it. And that's why I made my last video, because I wanted to give my thoughts on Ark. And I still think that Ark, and I still think that Ark is on a bit of a downward slope, because it's a very small downward, downward slope, because less and less people have been playing that. And as I thought about it more, I just realized, okay, it's probably the community that's causing that, because, you know, when you go into an Ark server, at least from what I've heard, it's like hell trying to get people to, you know, teach you the game. Like, if you just bought Ark, and then you were to try the game, it would be hell, because everyone would just be showing you, okay, we're going to show you all of this new stuff in Ark, never mind, we're just going to kill you every single time you spawn. And that's everything I've heard about Ark. So, in conclusion, I think that this is a great thing. I am hyped for the Switch version of Ark. I don't know if I'll pick it up, but what I'm worried about is that I have a feeling that this game is going to, when it comes out, it's going to be like the Xbox One and PS4 version of Ark when it came out. It would just be nowhere near as the level of quality as the PC version, which at the time was going through bugs as well, so I'm worried that that will happen again, but hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully Wildcard will deliver a port that is on the same level as the PC version. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments, and see you.